So wet filament is one of the most common ways where an entire print is ruined. It causes over extrusions, not hitting tolerance, as well as your parts looking like this, covered in zits and blobs and weird extrusions. And we found a new way of testing for this that's both cheap, accurate, and easy. So broadly speaking, there's two ways of measuring plastic moisture. The first method involves drying your sample and looking at the weight before and after, which is kind of silly when you can just dry your whole spool and be done with it. The second method involves really making the water molecules dance and seeing how much they dance by using RF and infrared analysis. But these processes, though fast, are really expensive. All right, so let's jump into the process. So we have carbon nylon loaded into this printer, and we've also got the print head preheated to our print temperature of 300 degrees. Um, once that's stable and at temperature, we want to extrude 100 millimeters, and we want to keep a stopwatch handy. So I'm gonna hit extrude, and the second this stops extruding, I'm gonna pull away the waste material and start my timer. So at 30 seconds, I'm gonna grab this strand. Nice. All right, we've got our magic filament now. All right, so this is the strand that came out after 30 seconds of our dribble test. It's about 27 millimeters long and falls here on our dribble chart. So let me just go over this briefly. So 10 millimeters is about as good as you can get. So this is nylon straight out of a high temperature dryer. Typical ranges of acceptable for us are really between 15 and 30 millimeters. Um, this is dry enough that you're really not going to notice any sort of degradation, both in like weird print features like zits and stuff or tolerancing of your part. Getting to 30 to 55 millimeters, here you're going to experience a small amount of over extrusion that might cause you to miss tolerance on your parts. You might also start seeing some like artifacts on like very fine features. Um, past 55 millimeters of dribble, this is where you start running into the classic wet filament problems. You're going to get zits, blobs, a lot of stringing. And just to show you the extreme, this dribble is from, I think, nylon that was left on the counter at 50% ambient humidity for like a few months. And it's longer than my entire forearm. So how does this whole thing actually work? Well, it relies on one fact that's really helpful, which is water expands a lot when it turns into steam. At 100 Celsius, it's about 1,700 times. At 280 Celsius, it's about 2,600 times. And when that water expands into steam, it only has one place it can go, which is out the nozzle. And as it does so and pressurizes our hot end, it pushes out filament. If you actually just leave this at steady state, eventually it will stop dribbling once all the water has been expelled. So the results of this test in a way of determining whether your print's gonna look good or bad, we're really confident on. If you have a lot of dribble, your filament is definitely wet enough that it'll impact your print quality. If you have only a few millimeters of dribble, you know it's gonna print beautifully. All right, so there you go. That's how you test for wet filament with just your 3D printer. Um, if you want more detailed documentation, click the link below and we've got a write-up on this with photos and steps. Um, I hope you guys find this helpful and see you next time.